Um, I'm Ryan Pankost. I illustrate for Magic the Gathering. I do oil painting mostly. Um, and I've been doing illustrations for Magic for about 15 years. Uh, I got into fantasy art basically right out of school. I went to art school with the intention of being an illustrator, but I didn't really know where I wanted to illustrate or what genre I wanted to work in. Um, I aimed my career towards editorial illustration, like books and magazines, but then through a random series of connections, I started working for small gaming companies that were looking for work. I started working for a game called Metal Magic and Lore, which is like a, um, a role-playing game. And they took me to Gen Con, and I was pretty much exposed to the whole fantasy art genre right there, and saw that magic was the biggest thing in town, and it was stuff that really looked cool, and stuff that I felt I could do. And so I submitted my portfolio at the event. They did not like my work at first. It was a lot of watercolors that were mostly black and white. And so I went home a little bit defeated and completely redid my portfolio in oil paints. Came back the next year and they liked my work after that. Um, and a few weeks later, I got a call from the art director at the time, Jeremy Jarvis, and I started, my first job was the planes uh, from M10. And ever since then, I've just had consistent work. Uh, I've never really had a break and I'm very happy to say that I'm approaching 200 cards at this point. I guess the most simplistic way of describing my style is realistic, but I think that is not my goal. That's where I start. So I start with realism, and then I branch out into fantasy, and I branch out into abstraction. Because realism is really what I'm good at, and bringing stuff into the world that needs to be imagined is more difficult for me. So I think my work is realistic, but also using thick brushwork to hint at details that I don't draw outright. Um, a lot of my work is not as, some might say, detailed as other artists. Like I don't enjoy painting like individual rings on a chainmail shirt. I don't want to draw every pore on a person's face. I don't need to get to that realism. What I need to do is get to a point where my realism is believable. So I think my style is less strictly realism and more believability. And that's what I'm trying to achieve, is like fantasy art that is believable. You can look at a character or look at a setting and say, okay, I can imagine this existing in some fantasy universe. Along the artistic path, you often have points where you really hit a high note. And it really is, it is a kind of high. You look, at, you look back at what you produced and you think, how the heck did I even make that? And those are points at which you might not reach those heights for a few more months or a few more years because it's really an uneven ascension to perfecting your craft. Like you'll have plateaus where for a few years you really won't see much improvement and then all of a sudden you'll produce a piece that is just, you know that it's beyond your current capabilities and something magic will happen where you've put in the hours and you've put in enough work that you produce like the perfect piece that you love so much that you wouldn't change anything. And then you might go back down a little bit in your craft and say, oh, I producing pieces that aren't quite as good as that piece, and then I'll, again, you'll go up again, and you'll, and you'll find a new height. And that's really your eyes adjusting to your work. It's, your, it's looking back and seeing how far you've come, rather than looking forward to see how far you have let, yet to go. So I think it's true that the journey as an artist is really a lifelong one, where you are constantly in search of some abstract point that only you care about. Outside of maybe comic books or children's books, I can't think of a single place where illustrators are recognized for their skill and by name. And so really, Magic has created this very nice community where illustrators are recognized. And that is extremely rare. There's hardly any place, any field where an illustrator could work where people could say, hey, I know that illustrator and I know his name or I know her name, 
and I know what their work is all about. Magic is unique in that field.